Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's Lifestyles of the Rich and Dark. Bourbon Maple Wishes and Pecan Dreams is an 11% bourbon barrel-aged porter from Oddside Ales in Grand Haven, Michigan. Oddside is back at it again, and this time they're hitting us with a barrel-aged porter. Every year on Black Friday, they have a release event, and this year's was with Rye Hipster Brunch, which you can find a link from last year's beer in the description, Raisins, Almonds, and Figs, Oh My, Big Kahuna, and this beer right here, Bourbon Maple Wishes and Pecan Dreams. In my opinion, Oddside has a great pedigree of bourbon barrel-aged beers, but I don't think I've had a porter from them yet. This one's sneaking out in limited supply, and mine retailed for about eight bucks. Let's get a closer look at the label and get this beer into a glass. Uh, fun fact, pecans aren't nuts. They're technically droops, just like coconuts, which you might remember if you watched my Banana and Coconut Dragon's Milk review. Link below. So we're going to take a look at the label here. It's a odd side label really on their bottles, on their cans. They usually just do like a one panel. It's just kind of the front it wraps around, has the government warning or some kind of information on the side. And this one is uh, it's a dark. I'd say it's a little lighter than black, but it's probably supposed to be matte black with a gold kind of label on it. It says odd side ales with the three hops and a pecan pie on a dish. It says uh, with uh, maple leaves around it. It says bourbon maple wishes and pecan dreams, bourbon barrel aged porter with maple syrup and pecans. And this one is manufactured or I guess bottled on a 11 13 2018 and on the side here it says keep refrigerated drink fresh 12 fluid ounces the 10 cent deposit 11 percent alcohol by volume brewed and bottled by oddside ales in grand haven michigan and uh, i gotta say you know before i open this i i get excited about beer just like everybody but i try not to let the hype get to me i haven't watched anything about this beer yet i haven't really read much about it i was almost kind of considering not picking it up just because uh again eight bucks for a bottle and they had it at that release for black friday i didn't think i'd be able to find it then it started popping up i have all this beer that i already have to try and drink uh and this was just going to kind of add to the pile but it sounds really good, so I'm just really kind of interested in trying it out. So we're going to open this one up. Has the odd side um, ales, typical cap. I don't know if they do any kind of special caps. This is a white cap, has the green uh, bind with the hops on it and the leaves and all that fun stuff. It says odd side ales. Let's put a nose on it here. Yeah, that smells really sweet. Um, I'm getting... A bourbony sm smell out of it, uh, but also I am getting a kind of a, a maple syrup scent. And there's almost, I mean, no, I'm not even going to speculate. I'm just going to pour it. So let's pour this in the glass. Very thick looking, very dark. This is a porter. It's not a stout, so it should be a little bit lighter. I can't actually see through the edge of the um, of the head here. So that's kind of letting me know it's a little bit lighter. The head, speaking of the head, it, it not much to speak of, a little bit. Didn't retain much of one, though. There's a little bit of, as you can see, a little bubble ring around the edge, but there's nothing in the middle here. Uh, it is very dark. It is, um, is kind of, like I said, right around the rim here, it is a little transparent, kind of... Hmm. Hmm, I'm getting a smoky kind of scent. I'm smelling a little faint bit of bourbon in there. The maple, like I said, it's a lot lighter though than it was when it came, you know, just directly out of the neck of the bottle. I want to say I'm almost picking up like an ester, like a banana kind of scent to it, but I'm, I want to dive in, so cheers. Wow, that's a lot of maple. The bourbon is in there, but it's not super strong. I'm actually, when you kind of roll it on your tongue, that's when I'm picking up the bourbon. I'm not picking it up when I first drag it in. I'm not picking up 
uh, on it too much on the swallow. It's more when it kind of rolls on my tongue. I feel that kind of bourbon, that that uh, alcohol kind of bite to it. It doesn't burn. There's no burn to it as it goes down. But yeah, a lot of maple. This is definitely like a dessert BBA um, porter. I was gonna say stout. It's a, definitely a dessert BBA porter. Again, I don't know if I've ever had a BBA porter. So, but it's very close to being a stout, or at least you know they're then they're really close to each other. Anyways, the styles really aren't much besides just kind of guidelines. So, I, porters and stouts are really close. And this has, um, yeah, I don't know if I. I, you know, I do. I was going to say, I don't know if I get the pecan, but I do. I get it on the tail end. There's kind of this roasty, kind of nutty taste on the tail end, and that has to be what the pecan is. Initially, um, it's very sweet, though, and you, like I said, you get that kind of bourbon. It enhances that maple. That's why all these places are doing maple and bourbon, right? Because they go together. It's not like there are these totally foreign tastes that don't match up together. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. You know, we just keep mixing them together because they taste good. Um, but with the bourbon and the maple, very sweet. Again, a dessert porter. This is a dessert beer. But the maple, I'm sorry, the pecan adds that, that roasty nuttiness on the tail end. That really just makes it for me. Uh, if that wasn't in there, I don't know if I would like that this nearly as much as I do. I almost, like, I'm drinking it, and I'm thinking of CBS while I drink this, to be perfectly honest. But I think the thing that CBS had going against it, for me, is that the it was too much maple, and I'd had it the year before. If, the, if they had put it out as a different beer and they called it something else, maybe then I would have a different opinion on it. But because this is a new beer, this is out this year, the first year is this year, and it has a whole lot of that maple taste, but again, it has the maple, it has the bourbon, but it has the pecan, that nuttiness, that roasty kind of tail end that just makes it that little hair different. And that's what I like about it. I like that that pecan's in there. It just adds to it. You know, the beer isn't just the swallow. It's not just bringing it in your mouth. It's not just holding it in your mouth. It's not just the perceived sweetness. It's also the aftertaste. If the aftertaste of something, you could drink something that tasted like Kool-Aid, right? But if the aftertaste tasted like um, sweat rolling off somebody's, you know, crack, then it's not going to be something that you want to drink. So with the aftertaste, I really, I mean, I'm, I'm a big pecan fan. Uh, and the, the nutty kind of pecan aftertaste just makes this porter for me. Um, and, and again, if it wasn't there, I'd probably think a lot less of it. At 11%, could I drink this very quickly and just finish this whole glass very quick? Yes, of course I could. But I don't want to. I want to sip it because it's. I know it's higher ABV. It's going to hit me in the tail end if I drink too much too fast. But on the other hand, it's also something you kind of want to savor. Uh, again, I'm drinking this more because that aftertaste is so good and it hangs out. It's still here. After that most recent drink, I still have the aftertaste. And that's the part that I like the most about this. If you're a pecan fan... Uh, and you weren't a huge CBS fan, I think that this might scratch that itch for you. Uh, I'm really digging this from Oddside, so great job. Kudos to Oddside. All right, friends, that has been Bourbon Maple Wishes and Pecan Dreams from Oddside Ales. Have you ever been to one of their Black Friday releases? Have you had any of their releases I mentioned earlier? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're down there, subscribe if you're a fan of Michigan beer. I'm here doing this twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Michigan beer. You can also find links to all my stuff, social media, Amazon links, merch, all that good stuff in the description below this video. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.